In this video, we're going to find a composition of functions and find a formula for that composition. Here we have f of x equals x squared minus x and g of x equals x plus 3, and we're asked to find f of g of x. And again, it's important to notice that's an open circle. It does not mean multiplication. The open circle means composition. What that means is we have f, and inside of the f is a g of x function. What this really means is we take the g of x function, that, because we can't evaluate it to get a number, we'll just take the entire function and plug it into the f function. Well, what does that look like? Well, first, let's consider what g of x is here inside. g of x is this x plus 3. So what this is really saying is f, and inside of f, is the x plus 3 that g of x function. So what we're going to do is take this x plus 3 and plug it into the f function. In the f function, both of these x's is going to be replaced with the entire x plus 3. So instead of x squared, it's now x plus 3 squared. Minus, instead of x, it's now x plus 3. And this gives us an expression we can simplify. First, let's square the binomial. Be very careful. We cannot just distribute the square through. That does not work because there's an adding in there. Instead, we need to use our squaring shortcut where we square the first, x squared, multiply them twice, 3x and 3x is 6x, and square the last, plus 9. On the second half, we have to distribute this negative through. So we have negative x minus 3. And now we can go through and combine like terms. There's an x squared. 6x minus x is plus 5x. And 9 minus 3 is plus 6. We have our composition. We found that composition by taking the g function and plugging it into the f function, replacing each of these x's with the g function. We can also do this in the opposite order. Let me see if I can delete a lot here. Instead of finding f of g of x, if we switch the order and made it into g of f of x, we get a whole new problem. In fact, the answer will very rarely be the same when we switch the order, because now we have g on the outside with f of x inside of it. In other words, we want to take this entire f of x function and plug it into the g function. Well, what is f of x? f of x is this x squared minus x. And that's what's going to go into this g function. Inside g is the x squared minus x. So we can grab all that and plug it into the g function. In the g function, replacing the x with the entire expression. Instead of x plus 3, it's now x squared minus x plus 3. And to simplify, we can just drop the parentheses because there's nothing to distribute. Technically a 1, I guess. x squared minus x plus 3 is the composition g of f of x, where we take f and plug it into the g function. Notice this is different than the expression we had earlier, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Switching the order does make a big difference on the composition most of the time.